What's up, all my fairy friends? <laughs> and welcome back to some Minecraft with Crafty Sheep. Crafty. Oh, you were waiting for me? Yeah. Ba! Ba! Wait, uh, stop, stop making noise. You have to cut it perfectly. Ba! We, <laughs> we are back with some build off challenges. Definitely not the second time. We're recording this. I definitely did not give hints at the last video of this possibly being a re-recording. But um, we have decided amongst the two of us uh, to give us a proper, and you guys, a proper build off. Um, we need a half hour for the framework and a half hour for the interior design. Now, once the uh, framework is done, you cannot touch it at all whatsoever. No edits. You can only work on the interior design. That means if you have a doorway missing, or a door missing, you cannot touch it. I don't care if it's flooding your entire build, work around it. <laughs> so, without further ado, I think we're about ready to start. Okie dokie, I'm going to search to first person. Um, and I think I have a location picked out for me. I think I, I have a good location. By the way, uh, off cam, we decided to pick a couple locations. Um, hang on a second. I think I lost where I wanted to go. Oh, no, I, I think it's I here. I think I got that double out door. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think it's right here. This is fine. Alright. In three, two, one, go. What are the blocks right of now. the sand and whatnot in this area? Oh. What? Like the blocks for this area, what, what, what is it called? Coral? Well, no, not, I meant like yeah. the, the, the Fire sand. Fire coral. Oh, sand? It's just sand. S-A-N-D. There's not really any sand, so here it's just sand and clay, I think. And oh, that might be, that might be clay. Yeah. Clay, right. clay is the gray stuff. It's gray. Clay yeah. is gray. Yeah. What's this, like, gravelly stuff? Um, like the gravel, maybe? There's andersite. There's stone. There's dorite. Dorite's the white one. Um, why, am I why am I helping you? You should know how to pick block. I don't. I'm on PC controls. Well, whose fault is that? You should have looked up how to do it. Not my fault. It's totally your fault, and you know it. we're not building the same thing. I'm building... Because it a... really sounds like it. <laughs> I am building. That's all you need to know. Okay. I'm just saying, it sounds like we're definitely building the same thing. Why is this so off? 
This, uh, this is not right. Oh, you're gonna go with, uh, ooh. Um, all right, so it's gonna be Oh fire. my god, yeah. what did I do? What did I do? Search. I don't understand. Iron blocks for structure. Oh. That's the same. So this is in three. Three. I'm only gonna know if this is right is to do this. No, I don't want to. Oh my god, building down underwater is a pain in the ass! You're telling me. Make sure this is right. Yes, that's right. Okay. Would you please move fish? Because you're definitely in my way. It's not right. Why is it not right, though? I don't understand. Probably just isn't right because of that other thing, that's all. I'm definitely not attempting to build a rapture. Oh, good. We're not building the same thing. That makes me happy. Why? What are you building? Nothing. Raccoon Absolutely City underwater? Nothing. Yeah, exactly. That's totally what I'm building. Yep. And we agreed it was okay if it sticks out of the water a little bit, right? Yes. I'd say no more than 10 blocks. Okay. It's just fine. Uh, this is so stressful and I don't know why. If it's any consolation, it's stressful for me too. So I don't know if that helps, but... Kind of. I'm, uh, 
I am relatively stressed as well, but I'm doing my best to keep my cool, and I have actual anxiety conditions, so... That should help you feel better. I have perfection disorder. Mm, I think we all have perfection disorder. Uh, am I going... Uh, yeah, I'm going in. Okay, am I going in or out? Two, two, stupid two. Count them, two. This is three. And then this is two. Two again. Okay, go in. And then we're gonna go like this. Do that. Just fine. Okay, that looks more than good enough, except that shouldn't be there. Other than that, we're okay. Okay. on the last video guys come on who won I, I need to know I need bragging <laughs> rights against sheep yeah I, I think you got that one in the bag yours was better I honestly think you might have this one in the bag you have a lot I don't, more experience I have in really building underwater than I do have no idea. I'm actually building something that I've never built before so I thought I'd step out of my comfort zone for this one so, I may end up being terrible. I've never tried this before, ever. I don't know how mine's gonna turn out. I'm just, I'm kind of winging it at this point. I, I really don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, that's not... Okay, it's fine. That's fine. That's, that's really bad. That did not end well at all. Did not end how I intended it to. Not even close. Me, oh me. god. What am I doing? Oh my god, that's not how that's supposed to work.
Mm, you son of a bitch. Okay, well, I'm gonna do this real quick. Because this is something I absolutely 100% why menu. Why? Oh. Because we've got like a minute. Save this build. Oh, that's gonna bug me to high heavens, but it's gonna have to do. There's no time. There is no time, I agree. Time's up! Exterior over. What is most important to you? Like, to consider it a home. Obviously, it needs a bed. Well, it depends on how it's used. Is it. Are you talking. What is a home decorative in creative? Or what is a home in survival? Because they're very different circumstances. Okay. That's a good point. Yeah, because if you're building a home decorative and creative, you want a lot of stuff that looks like a house in real life. But in survival, there's a different set of things that you want. You know? So it depends on which situation you're talking about. Yeah, it's like functionality about. over fashionality. Yeah. yeah. So I can answer both, but I need to know which one you're talking about. I, I'm probably gonna go for functionality, like I did with my other build. You can do whatever you want to do, but you asked me a question and I need a specification before I can answer properly. Okay, we'll go with survival. Survival, you absolutely need a bed, you absolutely need storage, you need a workbench, you need an oven, you need an anvil, like nobody's goddamn business. Those are the basics. If you want to get, like, end, or get end game, you want an end chest, you want an enchanting area. Um, some people like pots, like brewing. It depends on the person. Yeah. If they use those or not. So, um, brewing area is never really required unless somebody actually... Like, if you're in a PvP setting, you definitely want pots. You want strength pots, you want regen pots, you know. So, if there's going to be PvP, yeah, you want a brewing area. But if it's just friendly, survival, you don't really need a brewing area. But basics, bed, bench, oven, anvil, chest. Okay. Well, that's about it. That's about it for the, just the basics for survival. So now, if it was a creative need. house, what would you say? If it was a creative house, um, I would say that you need a bed, you need a couch, you need tables, you need counters, cabinets, um, chest of drawers, uh, you know, maybe a coffee table, a fireplace, things like that. Okay. Make it feel lived in, you know? Like, I've never walked into somebody's house that didn't have a couch. You know what I mean? But in survival, you don't need a couch. I have. Off, Granted, they were just on. moving in, and the couch wasn't there yet. But I have yeah, been in someone's house who has somebody a that's couch. lived lived in a house for a while. I've never walked in and not seen a couch. You know, and I've never walked in and not seen a TV. But with Minecraft, I think TV is too advanced. So I usually go for fireplace because back in olden days, everybody would gather around the fireplace. 
See, so what I consider like to be in Minecraft is a painting. Well, you can make a TV out of a painting. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that if you want to go with TV. But I never go with TV because Minecraft feels like horse and carriage kind of age. So I don't think that they would have TVs back in that day. So I always do a fireplace because that's what people gathered around in those days. Nowadays, people gather around the TV, you know? Yeah. And before TV and after fireplace, they gathered around the radio. So it depends on the time setting you're going for. But I've always seen Minecraft as, as horse and buggy age. So I, I usually don't try to put too much technology into it when I'm designing. Unless I'm specifically designing that, like Leonard's house. He's a fucking scientist. There's going to be technology all over the place, you know? Yeah. Okay. Clear my throat. We are doing <coughs> part two in three, two, uh, one, go. Alrighty. This is the first thing. Now we can break parts of the exterior if we need, right? It's not like. Okay, yeah, cool. I think so. I would say. And Probably. I'm gonna make an edit if you wanna spend extra time, like if you're done with your interior and whatnot, you can make slight adjustments to your exterior. Yeah, if you have more time, then yeah, sure, I'll give you that. That's fine. Okay, so how am I gonna do this? I know what I need. It's just blinding it. Trying to get some message across anyways. Alright, so choose um, these ones. Well, yeah, I actually know how to build this thing. It's clearly enough. Uh, no, it should be further out. You should go... You here. No, no, bad. Oh my god. My fucking radical. Importance of your radical sheep. I know. It's like, what the actual. Okay, that should work. It should work.
Here and here, and would you stop it? He One minute, 19.
Uh, come on. Time. Can I, uh, can I go out in the kitchen real quick and just put the coffee on? Give me a sec. And then we can look at the builds. Coffee has started. I am ready for you to come over <laughs> if you want to look at this. Okay, I want to take a guess before I come over. Were you trying to make okay. a submarine? Yes, I was trying to make a submarine. Okay. So the mess up happened was when I first started closing up the submarine on this side. You can definitely tell on this side. Um, instead of building out, I built in, and I had to stack a whole bunch of uh, clay on top to make it look like it was out and not in. So I'm, like, missing part of the build on the inside there. On the other sides, I learned how to do it right, to fill in the spots, but I just, when you get to the bottom, uh, I didn't have enough time. I also see uh, on the exterior a little bit, too. Oh. Yeah. I didn't have enough time to finish. So I ended up making it a crashed um, submarine Not that bad. somebody had adopted as a home. So I did put a conduit here so they can breathe underwater um, if they want. Not bad. And, and if you come in here, um, you have to use the button, but you come in here. This is a dry kitchen area where they can cook and stuff, cabinets. And then here, we're kind of inter we're in intersecting each other, so it's becoming a problem. You, you go ahead. And that's the bedroom. That's the bedroom, yeah. And then if you come back out, I had this idea over here. Pass the conduit um, to like make this was like the old cargo hold, which is why there's like pieces of steel coming out of it and stuff. Yeah, no, it definitely it's... looks like a sunken ship or something. Yeah, so. this was the old cargo hold that they turned into an enchanting room, and it's all dry in here too. God, yours is so detailed. I almost feel bad to show mine. So that was. The old cargo hold is the enchanting room, and and that they wanted to feel at home, but it's underwater, so they did the best they could for a fireplace over here. Kind of made it feel homey. Huh. So that was their concept when they were living under here, stuck under the sea that wants to feel like home. So that's uh, the underside is where you really get it. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Top side just looks like a bunch of clay <laughs> yeah yeah it's because I wasn't building like I didn't figure out how to do it right until I got to the other side so yeah all right so that's my house the sunken submarine and if you want to come see mine I am coming Giggity. welcome to my underwater laboratory <laughs> the pinky and the brain. It's pinky and the brain. One well, my home slash uh, underwater lab. I like it so far. We did use the same floor blocks. That's cool. I, I tried to make it 
like look like the, the frame steel to hold the pressure in. Yeah. I like it so far. I love your little forge thing that you do all the time. It's so cool. Uh, you got your kitchen with working cabinets. Yes. And there's even one hidden cabinet right here. Oh, wait, I don't see the hidden cabinet. Oh, nice. Very All nice. of them function. Uh, you got your little book slash enchanting nook. I like it. It's cute. Yeah, a lot of it was filling in the floor and kind of figuring out the design of, like, the balcony and whatnot. And yeah. And then, welcome to the bedroom slash storeroom. Oh, nice storage. And then you got your bed and your TV. Oh, is there a secret behind the painting? No. Oh man, you should put a secret behind the painting. These big paintings like that are perfect for them. I literally, at the last second, as soon as the timer went off, placed the painting. That's why. Yeah, I got one lantern in the bedroom as soon as the timer went off. I used hand rods like for though. the lighting in the closet. It looks nice. I like it. Yeah, this is my underwater biodome. I like it. It looks really good. I tried to go for like kind of like a Bioshock look where I was. Yeah, like you were counting blocks and I'm like, oh no, he's making a submarine too. <laughs> no. I, yeah, I went for different. trying to make a biosphere underwater. Yeah. It looks really nice though, I like it. But That's not Alright guys, I think that's gonna do it for this episode of the Minecraft with Crafty Sheep. Um let us know in the comment section below which one you think the underwater base that I built or the second sub. Honestly, cool concept. But it's not up for me to decide. It's up for you guys to decide. But as always, you guys need to stay cute, cuddly, and I'll be back before you can say bamboo! See you soon.